All right. So you have activated your account. Now what's next? This tutorial will guide you through setting up your store and creating your tables and format. Going to Store Management, Store Settings. Here is where you can edit your basic store information. Descriptions, such as burgers, any food types that you are providing, a tax percentage that you will charge, a processing fees for small amount orders, your Wi-Fi information, your address, a postal code, and then get the latitude and longitude for your postal code in order to calculate any distance for your self-managed delivery services. You can upload a profile image for your menu. This profile image will show in our hosted site at waitro.app. You can upload more image. Choose your operation hours. Below is the advanced, uh, advanced settings for turning on your pre-ordering, pickup, booking, or delivery services. You can turn a live mode on, then your customer will be able to access you through the link provided here. Remember, you have set up this URL when you are signing up your store. You can allow booking, pre-ordering, pickup, or self-management delivery. If you wish to not use any of the advanced ordering service, you just leave this part blank. In any special occasions or event, you can block the date for each of the service above. For example, if you want to block July 26, 27, just hit and save. What's more, you can set how many hours in advance can your customer cancel their, their advance ordering. You can also request to receive any notification emails once such an order has come in. So this completes the store setup now let's go to table settings. Upon finishing up your store setup, you will automatically have an advanced ordering session. All of the tables will be placed. Okay. All of the tables will be placed on the top left corner. Just hit edit and move them out. So you will be able to see that we have four different tables dedicated to different type of ordering. Save layout as default. When you go to a delivery table, oh, oh you can go to the delivery table because this is the management settings. We will cover up how you can open the table from your front of house in another tutorial. So let's continue to create your floor mat. So I have, I have already created a section called the main. Let's create a new section. Let's call it balcony. Index one. This index is where this section will be placed in sequence here. So when I create here, Go to the balcony section and I can add tables. Let's add two tables. Let's call them 51 and 52. You can assign number of seats that this table can take. You can assign the shape for this table. You can assign um, the chick color. Uh, this function has been deactivated. So let's create. Add it. You'll see two tables here. You can always um, add it each tables by clicking the pencil sign. 
You can adjust the width. You can change the shape. Or you can move it to a different location. So let's move it to main. Then you will see that the new table has been moved to the main section. Okay. So once you have created your tables and floor maps, you can generate table codes here. You can customize the look of your table code. You can play around and assign different colors. Let's try 110. That. So this is where you can uh, customize your own table code and print it to your desired type of um, table code, uh, either being coaster or a sticker. Once you're ready, show map. Any any sections without any table will be automatically deleted when you reload. So we'll see you in the next tutorial for uh, management uh, for for menu setup.